Hi everyone, Liam here. Welcome to this match preview and prediction for the match between Carlos Alcaraz and Mia Mikasmanovic in the fourth round of the 2024 Australian Open. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video, as always, if you enjoy the content on the channel, please like and subscribe. Really helps us grow the tennis section community. Well, we've got a very exciting match. If it is going to be anywhere like their first and only ever match that they played against each other on the ATP Tour, of course, Mia Mikasmanovic coming into the fourth round, you know, in impressive fashion, being able to save match points against Tommy Paul in that third round. You know, being two sets to one down, having to save match points in the fourth set tiebreak. Never really an easy situation to be in. And Tommy Paul's not one of those players you really want to be in that situation against because he's just very confident and he can hit anything out of anywhere. And it's just, you know, impressive to see that Mir Mir's being able to find that level to get himself here into the fourth round because we all know Mir Mir, we all know that he's got that level to play against the best players in the world at times, but we haven't really seen that in the last couple of years, I would say. The last time I would say I saw Mir Mir play at his absolute best was probably his last match against Carlos Alcaraz, which was at the uh, quarterfinals of the Miami Open in 2022, which in that match, I remember, I remember I was watching that match from start to finish and I was terrified, well not terrified, but I was so shocked that Mir Mir was taking that sort of level to Alcaraz on court. It was great to see and I'm hoping that he can be able to reproduce at least even like 70% of what he showed in that Miami match when they last played. Although he did play well against Tommy Paul, in the end, in the fifth set, it was all about who had the most match fitness left in their, in their legs. And Mia Mir seemed to be you know, much more fit. I think Tommy was doing a little bit too much running in that match and eventually it caught up to him in the end. And that's why you got the bagel in the final set in that match. I would say coming into this match here against Carlos Alcaraz, Alcaraz will be very happy with how he's performed on court. He, of course, played against uh, Shang, but Shang had to retire early in the third because of an injury. And to be honest, the first and the second set, Alcaraz was just cruising through it. I would say coming into this one, the head-to-head, -head, as I said, is 1-0 for Carlos. They played in Miami. It was a tight three-set match where obviously it finished in a third set tiebreak, which Alcaraz won. It's incredible to see the level since then that Alcaraz has been able to produce. I mean, I remember watching that match and Alcaraz was playing absolutely incredible, but since then he's improved even more and more. And I think he's reaching that point in the tournament now where he knows that the matches are going to get tougher and tougher as they go along. If he wins this match, probably meets, you know, an Alexander Zverev. He doesn't want to be wasting too much time on court here and wasting too much energy. He wants to be making sure that he gets his matches done quite quickly and swiftly to get himself through to the quarterfinals, semifinals, and potentially the final and have as much in his legs as possible. So I think coming into this one, he knows that Mia Mia obviously played an incredible match against him when they played their last, their first and only match. But he also knows that Mia Mia isn't at that same level anymore. So I think he will know that he can take this match quite comfortably if he's playing his best. I would expect Alcaraz, you know, to win this match, get himself into the quarterfinals. I would probably expect him to win this match in straight sets. To be quite honest, I think Mia Mia will be happy that he's been able to get himself this far. But will he have the game that we haven't seen from him in a couple of years to play against Alcaraz at this level? I'm not too sure. The max I can see Mia Mia getting out of this one is a set, but I don't see him taking it to five at all. But I think Alcaraz will be able to control his game and control Miam's game enough to get himself to win, get himself into the quarterfinals and do it in straight sets.